y'all and welcome back to my channel today i'm here with another review and today we're going to do a review of the new dior rouge forever liquid lipsticks i believe these lipsticks are exclusive to dior's website i'm not sure if they're going to be on sephora or other um online retailers there's about like 11 shades of these lipsticks i only picked up three because they were kind of pricey i think these was like 38 or 40 dollars lipstick Anyway, I'm gonna read a little bit about them. I mean, this is the packaging that it came in. Dior Forever Liquid is Dior's first ultra pigmented liquid lipstick that doesn't transfer in vibrant ultra matte colors with optimal coverage and a striking color. This lipstick won't settle into lines, fade, smudge, or feather, or even on fabric and mask. Okay, y'all, those were some pretty bold claims, but let's just get right into this review. Okay, these are the three shades that I picked up. The first shade is 200 the next shade is 626 and the last one is 558 so i think i'm gonna just start with 200 okay and this is what 200 looks like swatched this is a nice color reminding me almost kind of like a berry color but not like a a deep berry I'm using a regular brown lip liner Okay, y'all, this is what it's looking like. It's actually looking not nude, but almost nude. That's how it was looking in person. And this is reminding me of, um, I think it's Lolita and Kat Von D uh, liquid lipstick. This is what the shade is reminding me of, but I do like it. But these are super, super creamy. So far, this is very creamy. It is matte, it dries down quick, but it doesn't feel dry. It feels more like Kind of like a creamy matte, if that makes sense. Hopefully y'all get what I'm saying. Okay, y'all, this is what 200 is looking like. This is a nice pink color, so I'm going to put a brown lip liner on and put this on my lips. Okay, y'all, this is what 558 is looking like on my lips. Um, I feel like when I first swatched this, this was looking more kind of pinky almost. And when I put it on, to me, it looks a little bit more mauve -y. I almost feel like with the lip liner, it kind of looks like the first shade I just put on. So to me, it's, I, I almost feel like I didn't need both of these because with the lip liner, 558 looks exactly like 200 to me. I don't know how it looks on camera, but that's how it was looking like in person to me but so far i like both of them i like both of them a lot honestly and these are really really comfortable i must say very, very comfortable so i'm gonna go into the next okay. shade next shade i have is 626 i'm gonna swatch this one now as you see this is a red color it's a nice red Okay, so I'm going to um, apply it with the brown lip liner. Okay, y'all, this is what 626 is looking like on my lips. Um, in person, this looks more kind of like a satin matte than it's looking on camera. Because on camera, it looks very matte, but in person... My lips almost kind of got like a shine to it where it could be more of like a satin matte. You know how when you remove a liquid lipstick and your lips just feel so dry afterwards? These does not feel like that at all. Um, out of all three shades, favorite shade, I like the other two, even though I feel like I don't need both of them. But overall, in general, I do, I, I like all the shades, but this would be kind of like one I'm a little iffy on. And I wanted to check right quick before I end this video to see if they were transfer proof so i just got a little napkin and i'm gonna kind of rub it a little bit just to see if they come off just to see if it comes off on a napkin like how transfer proof it is so it's really not you see it's not really all that transfer proof but i still wanted to show y'all just in case if anybody was really wondering about like that um aspect of the lipstick i really didn't expect it to be transfer proof but i still want to show y'all okay y'all um 
my thoughts on these. Would I recommend these lipsticks to someone? Absolutely, I would recommend them. There's 11 shades, so you definitely can find a shade that will work for you or just a shade that you would like. I'm happy with all three shades. Um, The last one, which was, um, which one was it? 626. Um, it's not my favorite, but of course, I'm still going to wear it. Um, I really do like these lipsticks. Like I said, I would recommend them. So y'all let me know. Are y'all going to try these out or you want to pass on them? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.